Welcome to Chapter 7, Immune System. At the end of the chapter, students must be able to achieve seven learning outcomes for this topic. The first one, students must be able to classify the three lines of defense system in human, two, describe the three external barriers, three, describe the four internal defenses, four, describe components of the lines of defense, five, describe the events that occur during humoral immune response and cell mediated immune response, six, discuss the immunodeficiencies in human, and seven, discuss the prevention of certain infectious diseases. Let's take a look at this diagram. From this diagram, you can see that the green color, which is the macrophage, engulfing the rod-shaped bacteria. This is one example of the immune response that occur in our body to protect yourself from infection. So what is immune system? So immune system basically is an internal defense system. So it may function to protect the body against the foreign molecules by producing the immune response. So what is the foreign molecule? Foreign molecule can be a pathogen, a disease causing organism that can be anything around you like bacteria, fungus, virus, protozoa, and worm. Your immune system must have the ability to distinguish self and non-self by a unique protein on the surface of the cell. It also must respond to signal from injured tissue such as protein release when the cell membranes are damaged. Let's take a look at the first part of this topic, the three lines of defense. Okay, there are three types of defense or immune system. You can classify it into three. The first one is the first line, second one is the second line, and the last one is the third line. First lines of defense also called as a barrier defense. So what is barrier defense? Barrier defense prevent pathogen from gaining entrance to the body. Differ with the first lines of defense, second lines, which also called as internal defense, is a non-specific resistance that destroy invaders in generalized way. And the last one, the third line, which also called as adaptive immunity, is a type of specific immune response that responds to antigen. The three defense system, as you see in the previous slide, the first, second, and the third line, can also be classified into two classifications, which is the innate immune response and the adaptive immune response. Innate immune response will cover the barrier defense and the internal defense, which involves the pattern recognition receptors, cytokines and complement system, natural killer cell, dendritic cell, and phagocytosis process involving phagocytic cell. While for adaptive immune response, it will involve the two types of defense system, which is the cell-mediated and the antibody or humoral-mediated immune response. Continuing from the previous slide, this is the summarization of all the innate immunity and adaptive immunity system. All animals have the innate immunity system, while only vertebrates have the adaptive immunity system. So how you can differentiate between these two? Innate immunity will recognize the broad range of pathogen using a small set of receptor, while for adaptive immunity, it will recognize the trait of specific to particular pathogen using the vast array of receptor. Innate immunity system is a rapid response, while adaptive immunity is the slower response. As discussed previously, innate immunity can be classified into barrier defense and the internal defense. Barrier defense are including several parts of your body, 
including a skin, the mucous membranes, and the secretions, while internal defenses involve the phagocytic cell, natural cell, and the microbial protein and inflammatory response. For adaptive immunity, to immunity system, the antibody mediated immunity or humoral response will involve with the cell mediated response. Antibody mediated or humoral response involve antibody to fight or against the infections in the body fluids. However, cell mediated response involves cytotoxic cell to defense against the infection in the body cell.